All right, we're so excited to see what's coming. But first we gotta take you way back to the start of when we didn't even have this kiln. Let's go check it out. Okay, so today's an exciting day. We are, I guess you could call it breaking ground on our gas kiln uh, because we uh, the concrete pad, uh, they're working on it over there. So we needed eight foot by 12 foot concrete pad for the kiln. So that's the first step. We got the concrete pad so that we can go get the kiln bring it back and then we have somewhere to put it and then we'll build the shed around it. So. Ah, today's the day. We're going to get the new gas kiln. It's five five o'clock in the morning. I got to drive four hours to get to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Load up the kiln. Four hours back. I'm a little nervous, but uh, because like it's the kiln weighs two thousand pounds. I'm borrowing a trailer. We have to got have a guy with a forklift there that picks the trailer up or picks the kiln up, puts it in the trailer. All right. Anyway, let's do it. All right, we're about an hour in to the gas kiln getting adventure. 6.30 a.m. Got about three hours to go. Feeling good. This is nothing compared to when I drove to North Carolina for that wood fire. Moving a 2,000 pound kiln. All right, we got it on the trailer. So we got kiln shelves up here. Oh, this is the, the damper. We got glazes. All right. We got her all loaded up, got her strapped down. There was a little, uh, it's just, it just makes me nervous. It's moving a 2,000 pound kiln. Got the pyrometer, got the oxyprobe. Uh, burner stuff so now we are headed back four hours probably gonna take a little more than four hours now because I'm definitely not gonna go as fast as I was going on the way here but uh, very excited to get this thing back all right I think that's it let's do it What do you guys think of the new kiln? Good. So good. We did it. 500 miles I drove today to go get that bad boy. And uh, now we can start getting her going, right? Yeah. Yep. The kiln is here. Woohoo! The kiln is here. Woohoo! Nice. Looks pretty good. No damage. No damage.
All right, so today was a big day. We basically got the shed up around the kiln. And so today, it was also kind of a very frustrating day. We, uh, I'm gonna take you into our new kiln shed right now. So this morning, we were figuring out how to stack bricks, right? So all these bricks have to get stacked in a chimney that goes up out of there. So we were working on that and we were talking about whatever and a couple of the guys that were building the shed were like, well, why don't you just like look in here? And so one of the guys building, helping to build the shed, opened this door. So he opened the door. He must have opened it kind of quickly. And then literally all the bricks from here, right on the ground. And clearly you can see that everything is set up in a, in a perfect situation so that it fits perfectly in there and doesn't let any heat out. Oh my gosh, I was like, I literally thought it was gonna take hours and hours and hours to figure it out. Um, I was like too mad to turn on the camera and talk about it until now it's like six hours later. So Kai and I, shout out to Kai for just working through it. Um, Kai and I spent about two, three hours putting together a giant puzzle to get this back together. So these are pushed in there by these metal rot, like metal pieces that are there. And then there's little Allen screws that push them, which I had no idea that that's how it was all held together. And then we had a little cooler day today. So we were kind of thinking that maybe the kiln bricks just kind of shrunk. And then when he opened it kind of quick, it just whew, all came out. So that was what happened today. Kind of threw me off my game a little bit for a while. But basically now what we have to do is we have to stack the chimney so it goes up out of the roof and then they can put tin around that. So we're getting some high fire mortar so that we can put some mortar in there and level it because it, we kind of stacked it up up to probably here and it wasn't level. So this, uh, so far it's quite, uh, quite the process, but you can see we got a little skylight in here. We got a window that we moved from here. So this will be a door and then this will be a door so we can walk into the kiln or into the studio from there. So call the gas today to start getting that hooked up. So overall, it was a productive day. It was a frustrating day, but we are making progress. All right, so we are getting to the point where we're gonna be able to fire this gas kiln probably next week. So the shed is almost done. You can see it peeking out the top right there is the chimney. So I'm just stacking bricks for the chimney right now. So I have like, nine more bricks to stack and then the chimney's done then they can come finish the roof and then the gas guys can come hook up the burners and then we'll be ready to go we had to go get more bricks so these are all the bricks that we had thankfully kai got them from his school they were just sitting there and he asked if he could take them and they said yes uh but then these were hard bricks that we got so these are all soft brick these are hard brick to just finish the chimney so we have to get it coming out of the roof and then the guys can come back and uh, finish putting the roof on. Stacking bricks. All right, gas guys are here right now. The, the thermocouple's job is to hold the pilot open. Yep. Right now I'm overriding the thermocouple by doing this. So it hasn't heated, the, the pilot hasn't heated the thermocouple up enough yet. Okay, so now I let go. Now you see the pilot's still on. Yep, so that means the thermocouple's so heated, thermocouple's up. heated up. Now we can turn this on. Nice. So that's it. All right, so we are, I'm glazing stuff for the first gas firing that we're planning to do this week. So everything is like new. I've been looking on Mako's website. I've been like kind of racking my brain, thinking about what will work well in cone 10 reduction. And I realized that I have no idea what's gonna work. So we're just trying a bunch of different stuff. So. I got, here's my list of things I'm trying. Green tea over muddy waters, Roar Green, Makoshino, sea salt, ivy, lots of things. Um, if you come over here and look, this is our all these little tester cups. So we got red gloss on there, Norse blue on there, uh, alabaster, so I'll put more on there. And then we mixed up a new ash glaze that we got from Matthew Kelly. So Matthew Kelly is kind enough to give us his ash glaze which is just 50 50 wood ash that i got from my parents wood fireplace and 50 percent red art 
So that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna spray that. Um, otherwise, I really have no idea how we're gonna get to fill this kiln because I can't make decisions. This bowl I glazed for the electrifier, but I think I'm just gonna put it in the gas and see how it goes. <sighs> so we will see. This one has colored clay on the outside, like a marbling thing with Norse blue on the inside. I'm gonna put that in there. Let's glaze all this stuff. All right, we are in the middle of a massive glazing session. I literally have probably 20, I don't know, 25 glazes out. Too many. All right, so I have no idea how many different glaze combinations we have here, but it's a ton. So this is very exciting. Got some bigger stuff, vases, lots of little cups, ash glaze. It's gonna be sweet. All right, loading our first ever pots in here. Not that one. <laughs> All right, we just got it loaded. Hoo, 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 hoo. Excited, I haven't been this excited to fire a kiln since I went to North Carolina and fired with Matthew Kelly. All right, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna start this thing like 5 a.m. I might be up at like 4 a.m. actually. I might not be able to sleep, maybe it'll start at midnight. Just kidding, I'm definitely gonna wait till later. Happy you're along for the ride. Oh, what's up guys? Today is the day. We're gonna start this kiln up for the first time. So yesterday we got it loaded, it's pretty full. Tons of glaze combinations. Taller stuff back there, mugs, vases. We got cone packs, 07, what is it? 07, 08, 09, 012, we got, and then like 9, 10, 11. Got a couple coasters in there, bunch of glazes with ash glaze on the outside. So that's wood ash, red art, another cone pack, marble pots. All right, it's dark in here. All right, I'm just gonna start one. Gas on. Kai just got here. He had a dentist appointment. All right, so we've been firing, started at 5.30 a.m. Lit the pilots, headed up ramping pretty slow. Uh, and now we just got to the point where we put it in reduction. So we'll show you guys exactly what we're at. And Kai's filming right now and he's hearing this for the first time. So he may have some suggestions of what to do. I check this thing off so we don't have to step over it anymore. Oh, nice. That's nice. All right, so parameters at 1800. Right there. I just said it smells like stuff. So then I got my, you come up over here. So this is where I've been working a lot. I'm happy we put the kiln the way we did yeah. so that we have some room back here. So this is the Oxy Probe, and basically we want that between like 700 and 800, I think. And the way we adjust it is with the damper. But then, yeah, the only thing I'm not super sure about, which Kai, you can tell me what you think, is the airflow. So I had it all the way open right away, but then as we started to reduce it, then I closed them a little bit. Is that right? Eventually, we're going to stop gaining temperature so quick, so we're going to need a little more air, to right. get a little more energy in there. Right. So, so the, we'll open up the air more. Right. So we want to, basically, we're trying to keep this in reduction, right. which is like seven, 800. But also still gain temperature. Right. right. So that's where we're at right now, right? Like we're just trying to gain temperature while also keeping a reduction. Because yep. if you're not a reduction, it's easier to gain temperature. Right, yep, so. And then the other way that you can check reduction if you don't have the OxyPro, I'm guessing, Peeps. is the peepholes, right? Yeah. yeah, so she, Pat, who we bought this kiln from, had mentioned, you know, she checks the bottom peep mm -hmm. to make sure, when she puts in a reduction, to make sure that we got flame coming out. And I did just check that, but I'd love Kai to see it now. Got a little bit going. A little bit? Yeah. Do you expect a little more? A little bit, but maybe later on in the firing. Yeah. But you can see like right here, all the soot here. 
Right. Means we're reducing pretty well. Oh, because that's new. Right, yep. So that's all carbon. Nice. Yep. And here, if we take the top one out, will the top one shoot out even more? Yeah, I bet it will. Should. You! There we go. <laughs> and then the, the three front ones are down, right? You're gonna when it gets it. hotter and hotter, it'll get like super white. You can't really see. Yeah. So if you like pull up, try blowing on the cones, ah. and like, you can see like the cones illuminate almost. Yeah. Nice. But so far, feeling pretty good. All right. So it's 11 o'clock. Started at 5 a.m. I'm gonna turn the pyrometer on. We're at 2,070. So definitely not climbing quite as quick anymore, huh? Mm -mm. You would say? Oh, Is you're you're at 2015? Yeah. Okay, so we're checking the OxyPro, which is at 750, which is heavy reduction, right where we want to be. 750, right? It's actually pushed in a little more than it was for her. Okay. And then we'll check the peepholes, I guess. Because 20, I mean, nothing's going to go down, but might as well look at it because we're here, right? Yep. All right, so I'm going to look in the top. Wah! There we go. Going to take a quick peek at the cones at, again at noon. Two thousand two twenty-five. What the uh, pyrometer says. We are seven fifty this whole time. This has actually been a lot easier to fire than I expected. How about you? It's going very smoothly. Very smoothly. We're at what seven and a half hours. Twelve forty-five. What's five thirty? Oh, you open the window. Nice. Good call. <laughs> Let's see these. Matthew, I talked to Matthew Kelly on the phone. He told me maybe I'd want to cover these boards with a uh, fiber blanket so I don't burn my shed down. Probably smart. My glove has a hole in it so I can feel it. Uh, let's look inside and see if we can see the kid the cones. Oh yeah, holy hot. Those are not the right gloves for this. Oh yeah, I can see the, the two they still are up. That, those are the wrong gloves for this situation. Okay. This thing is hot. We are like right there, right at the top temp right now, right? All right, so I think we're there. I think we're at cone 10. Cone 10 is down, 2290 right there. OxyProbe, we kept it at 750, basically the whole firing until right at the end, we got it down to 700. Um, so I think we're just gonna take one more little peek and then shut her down. Put the fiber blanket on the holes and see how it goes. What do you think is gonna work well and look good? I think the chinos and the ashes are gonna look really good. Winter wood is gonna turn out really well. <laughs> So basically the only Shino we have in there is the Mako Shino, right? And her Red Art Shino. I think, I hope the Ashley is with all the other ones comboed together looks good. I think it will. We have four different types of clay in here. So we have B clay from Continental Clay, we have buff stoneware, we have wood fire porcelain, and we have 50-50, which is a, buff, a stoneware mix, buff and something else. So that I am curious to see all the different clays and how the glazes look on those. Yeah, there's, it's going to be really exciting and fun. I can't wait. All right, dudes, let's do it. Let's open this thing. Let us do it, do it, do it. We are very excited. It's pretty cool. Holy, that a lot. Ashley's recipe. 